Romantic warrior for Hong Kong is in the stalls. Militarised, the three-year-old joins them. Written here by Mickey D. Gold trip last year's Melbourne Cup winner is in. My Oberon, one of the outsiders here at $73 with Jamie Mott. Fangirl, Zach Purden goes in. Quite calm, these runners out behind the line. Alligator Blood goes up into barrier number five. Fangirl is in with King Colorado. Pinstriped with young Ben Allen taking a wide alley. Zaki, the nine-year-old, to move up. Victoria Road is in, so the field is just about set for Australia's best race. The home of the Ladbrokes Cox Plate. Mooney Valley about to erupt as Zaki takes the outside. The field is set. Ready to run. Racing in the Cox Plate. Romantic Warrior jumped away well with Alligator Blood and Militarise over on the far side. Victoria Road just got chopped out there and King Colorado shows speed out deeper and Zaki out even wider at the judge. Alligator Blood joined by King Colorado. Romantic Warriors just behind those horses. Three and four deep on the first corner and Zaki's out even deeper. They were followed by Militarise and Mr. Brightside as they jostle for positions. A length and a half by Oberon and Dewis and then pinstriped well back is Fangirl and Gold Trip is last of all. 1,400 metres to go and it's King Colorado in front by a length to Zaki who's done the work. Alligator Blood is third and fourth is Romantic Warrior. No excuses from there on the bottom corner at the 1,250. A length away Mr. Brightside, three quarters of a length Victoria Road, two lengths Dewis. No speed up front. Then came Militarise. A length and a half my Oberon and Gold Trip well back pinstripe and last is Fangirl at the 1,000 metres. King Colorado in front by a neck to in second, Zaki. A length and a half to Alligator Blood, a length and a quarter, Romantic Warrior. Then came Mr. Brightside, saving every inch of ground. A length and a quarter, Victoria Road, followed by Dewis. Then Militarise, Gold Trip, My Oberon, Pinstriped, and Fangirl is last. To the side of the course at the 700, King Colorado with Zaki the outside. Alligator Blood is poised. A length, Mr. Brightside sneaking ground the fence. Then came Romantic Warrior. For the back is Jewess Victoria Road. Gold trip my Oberon pinstriped and fangirl with militarized up to the corner. Zaki claims King Colorado. Alligator Blood is right there. Romantic Warrior four deep a length and a half off them. Mr. Brightside off the fence needs room. And then came Jewess into the straight. Alligator Blood at the 200 took the front. Romantic Warrior the outside. Alligator Blood at the 100. Romantic Warrior Mr. Brightside. Still Alligator Blood. Mr. Brightside coming at it with Romantic Warrior. It's a photo. It will appear pretty well set. And they're in with one. Long hold, but they're away. Jumping in the air. Last year's winner, Emblem Road, gives them a start as out well Pantalasser on the inside. He's going forward. Tiber is also taking a handy position as his crown pride. And the three from the inside gates are the ones that are cutting out the early fractions. Moving forward into fourth place is Geoglyph as the field begins to string out. Pace appears honest. Frankie Dettori moves country grammar up towards the outside. White cap casting a glance to the inside as on his outside Cafe Faro improves. Remorse sits in midfield in company with Lagata Rhyme. Towards the outside we have Scotland Yard and Emblem Road who's widest of all. Van der Gaard is settled and the back two are Jun Lightbolt who is towards the back of the pack as they make their way down the back straight in the Saudi Cup and Pantalassa really now beginning to press on has the advantage from in second Geoglyph in third place and just pushed along his Tiber to try and stick with the pace which is strong. Crown Pride is in fourth place. Emblem Road is circling on the outside of Country Grammar. The first two home from 12 months ago. Behind these is Remorse. Ground up the inside Cafe Faro. Joe Herrera. Oh, Real ground-saving move on the inside to get onto the heels of the leaders. Pantalassa on the home turn. Geoglyph, Tiber as the Japan Army's muster as Crown Pride on the outside. Then behind these in fifth place, angling out for a little bit of luck is Cafe Faro trying to stay on from the back. Behind these is Country Grammar who's got work to do and Jun Lightbolt towards the inside. Pantalassa moves back to the rails, has the advantage. Geoglyph in second place. Then between horses, Cafe Faro, Japan all over the place here. They have the first four. Pantalassa tried the last home. In second place, Geoglyph right down the outside. Country Grammar is staying on, but Pantalassa is lasting home at the moment. 50 yards to go. Pantalassa, Country Grammar on the sea late, but too late. Pantalassa takes it for Japan, the one they missed last year. They get this time. 
off in the Stewards' Cup. It was a good level line away. Beauty Joy was an overly quick out and California Spangles going to lead. Romantic Warrior second and Golden 60 straight into the box seat. They're going slow early. Waikuku fourth, Beauty Joy fifth and he wants to get their head up early. Russian Emperor second last and Panfield's a length away last. Backstretch speed is slow. California Spangle through the first 400 metres leads a length and a half. Romantic Warrior has relaxed beautifully second. Likewise, Golden 60 third on the rail. Last year's winner, Waikuku, he's running fourth. Beauty Joy fifth, and then came Russian Emperor and Panfield last, and he's five lengths off California Spangle, who creeps towards the end of the backstretch now. 8.50 to go, and he's had a great lead in the Stewart's Cup. Romantic Warrior second, Golden 60 has been stalking California Spangle as the pace starts to increase. Waikuku fourth, then Beauty Joy, second last Russian Emperor, and Panfield is last. The big three have snuck away a bit here. California Spangle, Romantic Warrior on the outside. Golden 63rd. Vincent probing for a run. California Spangle leads. Teton first to get busy on Romantic Warrior. Golden 60 next. He's starting to wind up and looking to get clear. California Spangle leads. Golden 60's off his heels. Romantic Warrior can't go with them. Golden 60's taken over now. He's a length in front of California Spangle and Romantic Warrior and Hong Kong. Horse of a generation wins the race of the decade. Golden 60 has beaten either the Romantic Warrior or California Spangle. It's the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, Kipco Stakes, standing by. And they're off. And Pile Driver jumped out very smartly, but Bolshoi Ballet is going to go forward as they begin their first furlong. And also Point Lonsdale, so two of the O'Brien runners are first and second, Point Lonsdale and Bolshoi Ballet. Pile Driver back in third, Luxembourg, another one for Team O'Brien in fourth on the inside. A couple of lengths to Hookham and King of Steel. Then Emily Upjohn and Deauville, Legend and Westover, and August Rodan. Uh, from a wide draw is still towards the outside under Ryan Moore as they continue on their journey down to Swinley Bottom. Point Lonsdale, Belshoy Ballet is second. Pile Driver, last year's winner, Red Cap in third. On the inside, Luxembourg. Westover is out wide in the pink cap, tracked out wide by August Rodan, just inside those Hookham in the blue and white jacket. Then King of Steel right round the inside, second last, Emily Upjohn, and finally, Deauville Legend. Swinging right-handed at the lowest part of the course and approaching the seven furlong marker. And it's Point Lonsdale with a neck advantage over over Bolshoi Ballet, a length and a half further back to Pile Driver. Then Luxembourg on the inside, Westover back in fifth in six is Hookham and then King of Steel, followed by August Rodan and Emily Upjohn and Deauville Legend is the back mark and about eight or nine off the pace. They've passed the six and racing on towards the five and it's Point Lonsdale, just the leader to Bolshoi Ballet. They're nearly matching stride and now they're really pressing on. Westover's on the outside of Pile Driver. Luxembourg's in the slipstream of his two stable companions. August Rodan towards the outside, just being niggled a bit by Ryan Moore to improve now. Very deep on the course. Hookham's got plenty of cover. Emily up, Johnny's making some ground. And King of Steel right round the inside from Dogal Legend. August Rodan is dropping right out of it, out the back of the picture as they swing for home. And up ahead, Point Lonsdale with Bolshoi Ballet. Luxembourg getting a dream run round the inside. Paul Driver swinging wide, peeling wide of Westover. Then Hookham, King of Steel looking for a run on the far side and now getting through between Luxembourg and Pile Driver as Westover launches a challenge. It's Westover that goes on. Hookham down the outside and the three-year-old King of Steel. Westover just wobbling a little in front. King of Steel far side. Hookham on the near side. Westover and Hookham, the older horses, fighting it out inside the final funnel. And it's Hookham that's just in front. Westover is fighting back. They race up towards the line. Hookham and those in front. And they're off for the 64th running of the Takarazuka. Uh, Kinan and uh, Victor Moore starts well. And Unicorn Lion as well from that wide gate, as expected, looking to find the lead. Dano and the Kid with a good position as well. Also Karate, Lilac uh, just slightly back at this point. Dule Lede has got over from the wide gate as well. But as they head towards the winning post, the first time Unicorn Lion it is from uh, Dule Lede. And then just in behind, there's a group of about four with Karate. Dano and the kid ask Victor Moore and break up. Then comes Deep Bond and Geoglyph. Lilac uh, 
got a position on the rails then. Then comes Predaria Mozubello. Boccarini, the seven-year-old. Then comes Justin Palace. Justin Palace, uh, Vela Azur, last year's Japan Cup winner. Geraldina uh, settled quite well under Yu Takatake, but uh, quite a way back, and so too is Equinox. And then behind Equinox through seven seas. And that's the way they stand at the moment as the 17 runners uh, go down the back straight. And it's Unicorn Lion still dictating things from Dula Elede, the three-year-old, the only three-year-old in the race from break-up. And then on the rails comes Karate. Uh, Ask Victor Moore, Lilac uh, creeping closer down on the kid uh, in between runners. Then comes Deep Bond, Geoglyph next. Uh, Justin Palace, uh, Equinox still third last at the moment and Christophe Lemaire will have to get a move on from there but uh, he doesn't seem to be in any hurry asked Victor Moore uh, uh, goes quite well Boccarini well back and the two carrot farm colours at the rear in through seven seas and Vela Azur but as they head to the final turn now Unicorn Lion he's got a lot of company here with break up asked Victor Moore Geraldina Geoglyph and widest of all runners is Equinox with the big white face looming large now Possibly taking the better ground all the time here. Geoglyph, Geraldina, I think the ones on the rail have been defeated. And here comes Equinox, the world's highest rated racehorse. And he's going to be that today as well. Equinox up towards the line. Equinox wins it from through seven seas. And then came Justin Palace. Stand by. They're all in. They're off. The four superstars break from the stalls. Nashua in no great haste restrained. The Foxes drops out in last place. And Mostadaf bounces out with an advantage of a couple of lengths, leading Paddington through the first furlong of the £1 million Group 1 Judmont International. Frankie in front and with an uncontested lead early on. And it's single file stuff with Paddington in run, Moore's hands taking the trail in second. Nashua racing in third under Holly Doyle and the Foxes. And Asheen Murphy looking on last of the quartet. At around about 36, 37 miles an hour, they move down towards the final seven furlongs. So Frankie glancing in behind aboard Mostadaf. He's got a lead now of three lengths or so. Paddington is chasing two lengths away to Nashua. The dark green silks and the fox is under heavy restraint to the back of the field. They enter the last three quarters of a mile and begin the swing back towards home and on towards halfway. And Frankie setting decent fractions here on Mostadaf. He has an advantage of three lengths over Paddington. A further two lengths away to Nashua and the Foxes are halfway, remains last of the quartet and they're around about 38 miles an hour as Mostadaf leads them to the top of the home straight and the last half mile in sight. And again, Frankie has a look in behind. And you'll see that Ryan Moore is now just asking Paddington to go after Mostadaf try and close. The gap is still at uh, three lengths. Two lengths away to Nashua and the Foxes remains last of four and again Frankie has a long lingering look in behind aboard Mostadaf. He's leading him down towards the last two and a half furlongs and Moore is now crouching low on Paddington. He gets to within two lengths. Frankie asks Mostadaf for more. Can Paddington get past? Nashua on the right is staging a challenge. The Fox is back in fourth. Mostadaf on down towards the last furlong. Paddington though pressing hard under the Moore drive. Nashua trying to burrow through against the rail. Mostadaf, Paddington leaning left. He got to his quarters. Can he get past? Frankie in front, punching away. Mostadaf, and it's a record-breaking Judmont International success for Frankie on his farewell. They're off in the Breeders' Cup turf, and Broom was slow to begin. He's at the back of the pack early. Mostadaf is fast, and there goes Adamo to the outside. Adamo is joined quickly by Balladeer now, and Balladeer takes up the running early and opens up the lead by two. Adamo is running in second position. Most Adolf is third, King of Steel. Moving early now, he's only five lengths off the lead in the initial stages. And then it's up to the mark. After that slow start, Broom is going by horses on the far outside, and Broom is getting closer. He was expected to be close to the lead, and he's about to be, but after that slow start, he's going to have to be rushed up. So into the stretch, first time round, Balladeer the leader. Adamo on the outside, a bit headstrong in second. Broom is running along in third. King of Steel is fourth, up to the mark fifth. Most Adolf in between horses. Shariar is down on the inside. Then Auguste Rodin, Gold Phoenix. Onesto is second last. Warlike Goddess is the trailer of 48.79 half mile with one lap to go. Valadier and Victor Espinosa lead the way. Broom is up running in second on the outside. 
Adamo tracks them in third. Frankie Detorian, King of Steel, fourth, and they're three and a half from the front. Up to the mark is right alongside. The brink of another two lengths back to the Japan runner, Sharyar, who's got seven lengths to make up as they head to the back stretch. Then most adopt to the outside. Augusto Rodas still 11 lengths off the lead. And Hard Held Onesto moves up alongside of him. Gold Phoenix and Warlike Goddess at the back of the field. Three quarters and one, 12.66 seconds. Up the back stretch. Balladeer the leader. Broom a length and a half behind. Running along in second position. Adamo was third. And up to the mark is right in contention. Fourth on the outside. Ostadoff is moving up alongside of King of Steel. Shariar's on the rail. Augusto Dan still seven lengths to make up. Onesto starting to be given his cue now. Then Gold Phoenix and Warlike Goddess around the far turn. Balladeer the leader up to the mark is moving up alongside. Adamo is in between those two. Mostadoff comes four wide. Augusto Dan got Prue on the inside. A dream run for Augusto Dan. Up to the mark, takes him on with a furlong to run. And then comes Shariar. But Augusto Dan, under a perfect ride from Ryan Moore, will win the Breeders' Cup turf. Up to the mark was second. Set to go, and they're off. Racing away for the £500,000 Al Shakab Goodwood Cup, this group one over two miles. And through those very early stages, Quickthorn, he likes to make the running, is out there early on. Quickthorn showing in front from the two shades of blue. Tashkar moving up to the outside of Coltrane. They are disputing second and third. Then Eldar Eldorov in those yellow and black stripes. About a couple of lengths ahead then of Broom in the grey and white check. Behind Broom is Courage Monami. The gold sleeves, the red cap, racing back in sixth place early on. Gio Velotto and Lone Eagle are the next two. Then Everly Dickinson, further behind to find Ocean Wind and Enemy at the tail of the field. Fully 20 lengths behind the leader. That leader has gone clear and it's Quickthorn. He likes to go off in front and has gone away by the best part of Eight to ten lengths in these early stages of the Al Cab. Goodwood Cup. Well clear from Coltrane, who's racing there in second. Tash Khan goes along in third in the two shades of blue. Not far behind is Broom to the inside under William Buick. Then Eldar Eldorov, followed by Lone Eagle. Courage Monami more back towards the inside at this point as they turn around Oak Tree Corner. Quick Thorn, well, he's out on his own at the moment. He is a long way in front. He must be the best part of 12 to 15 lengths now ahead of Coltrane in second. Back in third, then is Tashkar, Bruman, Eldar, Elder of the next two. Then Courage Monami from Lone Eagle. Gia Velotto, Emily Dickinson. Ocean Wind is still second to last. The big outsider enemy is the bat marker. So right over on the back straight now, and Quick Thorn not letting up, gradually getting further and further clear. Must be the best part of 15, maybe a bit more clear from Coltrane and Tashkan. Then Broom and Eldar Eldorov ahead of Courage Monami, Emily Dickinson behind those. Then came Lone Eagle. Uh, so he raced out towards the highest points in Quickthorn, not for catching at the moment. Racing towards the top of the hill, the best part of 15 to 20 lengths clear, maybe. From Coltrane, who's racing there in second. Tashkan is back in third. Then came Broom and Eldar Eldorov and Courage Monami. Emily Dickinson trying to better get closer now with Lone Eagle just in front of her. Enemy is still right towards the back of the field with Ocean Wind as the leader prepares now to enter the home straight proper. The racing down inside the final four and a half furlongs and Quickthorn has got further and further clear as the journey has gone on. Will they be able to get him back under Tom Marquand? They race now towards the final. Final three furlongs is still quick thorn clear by about 10 to 12 lengths, maybe a bit more from Coltrane and Tash Khan. Then Eldar Elder of Lone Eagle, Courage One of Me will have to start a run soon. Then Broom towards the inside, Giovanotto, no headway. Emily Dickinson looks beat, and then Enemy and Ocean Wind as Marquan kicks on again on quick thorn, racing inside the final furlong and a half. Has he stolen the Goodwood Cup? He is still a long way in front of Coltrane, and then came Eldar Elder of. Courage Monami trying to stay on then Giovanotto and Lone Eagle. They're well inside the final furlong and it's Quick Thorn. He's still out on his own. He's galloped them into submission behind. What a great ride from Tom Marquand on Quick Thorn who wins the Asher Cup. Goodwood Cup.
ready to go. And they're racing. And Solgum stood there again and missed it by about three lengths this time. Beginning well towards the inside was Magical Lagoon with also Serpentine and not too far away Absurd and also Vauban. Out deeper on the track, Future History and also Right You Are coming over and also Vow and Declare as four and five deep. And at this point of the race is about two off the lead and trying to push up from Carla Poor. They were followed next in the field by in between horses, True Marvel. Military Mission is next and just ahead of it is Absurd and also Vauban along the inside. Next is Gold Trip as they come down the straight with just over a lap to go. Next is Lestochka who's four deep around Shiraz and without a fight. They were followed by Ash Run, Break Up, Interpretation, Sulkham towards the back, more Fallons and also Akita Sushi and two for the back as Virtuous Circle at the tail of the field as they leave the running, the leader Serpentine by a length in second future history. Third is Magical Lagoon and Bow and Declare fourth one off the fence. Two lengths to right you are and Vauban followed by Absurd. Carla is three wide. Next along the inside is Gold Tripless Dodger. In between horses, Military Mission and even speed in the cup from Alan Kerr. They were followed one off the fence by Deshaun Sweet Jr. True Marvel three wide. Well back without a fight, Ash Run Shiraz. Next along the inside, Sulkham break up interpretation. Towards the back of the field, more felons, Akita Sushi. And last of all, Virtuous Circle. 1,700 metres to go in the Lexus. Melbourne Cup. Serpentine is the leader. From on the outside, Carla Poor and Future History is third. A length and a half, Magical Lagoon and also Bow and Declare and they get away at this stage as they reach the 1500 metres. They're four lengths in front of Right You Are and Vauban, saving every inch of ground. A length and a half, the stable made absurd and then came Gold Trip. A length away, La Scotia is three wide at this stage and then came Military Mission. A length away in the field is True Marvel and then came Alan Kerr to Shans Sweet Junior without a fight. Shiraz well back in the field. Well back two-thirds down as Ash runs Sulkham and break up. And they were followed by more felons as they string right out at the 1,000 metres. Akita Sushi is well back in the field as well. And towards the back interpretation and virtuous circle. So it's Serpentine running this along very solidly midway towards the 800 metres. It's a true staying test by two links to Carla Poor and future history. Vow and Declare is nice and close. Three or four of them. They were followed by Right You Are. Vauban's only about four or five off them. Absurd the outside. Gold Trip is tanking through. Needs runs. Deshaun Sweet Junior's wedging through them. And Alan Kerr, plenty of hopes around the corner. Into the straight of the Lexus Melbourne Cup. And here's Vauban on the outside of Future History. And Bow and Declare between them. Absurd is also chiming in. 400 metres to go. It's Absurd moving up on the outside for Zach Burden. A length in front, but without a fight, is running on right down the centre of the track without a fight up to observe Bow and Declare and Shiraz the Volta it's without a fight, 100 metres to go, 2 or 3 lengths in front coming away from Shiraz and also Sulgham without a fight Mark Zara, a Melbourne Cup champion, wins it by 2 lengths 8 runners lined up at the mile and a quarter start, they're off in the Group 1 Royal Bahrain Irish Champion Stakes as they emerge from stalls. It's Augusta Rodin, the striped cap up in between Luxembourg, Spreewell, the rail. Pushed up on the outside to try and push the pace as Point Lonsdale followed by Ernesto and then King of Steel. A gap in the field to Nashua and Alflela. Continuing towards the final mile and it is Luxembourg, Point Lonsdale and Augusta Rodin, the stable companions leading Ernesto in the white colours. Spreewell is knocked back to fifth and then King of Steel followed by Nashua and Alflela. Right across from the stand, six and a half furlongs to go, and they're getting spaced out as it's Luxembourg and Jamie Heffern and Joe showing in the lead. From Point Lonsdale and Dylan Brown, McMoney and Nudged in second. Augusta Rodan and Ryan Moore in third, followed by Ernesto and Frankie de Tori. Spreewell, Shane Foley, the inside of King of Steel and Kevin Stott, and then Nashua. Holly Doyle and bringing up the rear is Alflela and Jim Crowley as they pass the halfway stage. Little in the order has changed from first to last. It's Luxembourg by a half. 
half to Point Lonsdale, two and a half in front of Augusta Rodin in third. A one, two, three for Aidan O'Brien at this point of the race, followed by Ernesto, then King of Steel, who goes by, uh, ridden along Spreewell, then Nashua, and pushed along is Al Flayla. Coming up to the three mark, and they're tightening up. It is Luxembourg with the edge from Point Lonsdale, poised as Augusta Rodin. King of Steel improves on the outside of Ernesto, and then Spreewell, Nashua, and a gap to Al Flayla. They straighten at the two, and it is Luxembourg from Augusta Rodin, who's looming on the outside, moving on from King of Steel, Point Lonsdale, Ernesto is next, Nashua runs on on the outside, inside the final furlong and one from the rail, Augusta Rodin leads, 150 yards to go, railing is Luxembourg, Nashua over the top on the outside, Augusta Rodin is in champion spirit, in the Royal Bahrain Irish champion stake, from Nashua, Luxembourg, King of Steel next. It's another edition for Ryan Moore and Aidan O'Brien.